I go by Sherry. Cheryl Clinton is my full and official professional name. I'm a painter, um, practicing artist for over 20 years. The studio is up the street from my house in Holliston. I've been here about three years. Prior to that, I was in the studio in Framingham for about 20. And I find that the, the work I do in the studio is very much how I process the world and process my life. The primary inspiration for my painting is the play of light um, in, in nature and water pretty specifically. Reflections of light and the movement of water have been a really <laughs> deep pool, pun intended, of inspiration for my work. I work in a number of different ways. I have rather abstract, non-representational work and more specific representational. The inspiration really comes from you know, walking in the woods, looking at the water and the beach, checking out the puddle in the driveway. There's deep inspiration and a wealth of uh, color and texture to play with, and I draw from that in my work. I love the surprise and the experimentation, the flow of the paint, the happy accidents that happen. Maybe I don't enjoy the frustration, but there's a lot in there and pushing through that and coming out the other side. There's a uh, you know, tremendous amount of discovery that happens. Painting is a very meditative practice for me. A lot of work evolves over time, lots of layers over many years for some pieces and other pieces in, you know, f finished in a matter of minutes much to my surprise and delight. Um, that's rare, but <laughs> the work I'm doing now it does have a lot to do with the passage of time, pushing the media with water, having it really fluid and using evaporation. So a lot of the pieces are very slow. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen, which is both terrifying and really exciting. I'm very fortunate to have a, a studio space and one of the drawbacks was that it was in a building without any other artists, but in the pandemic, it has been a big plus. It's in a building with nobody else, so I can come here whenever I want. So in that respect, uh, you know, I've had a lot of flexibility and time to be here, which has been a real gift, but I did have a lot of plans for shows and, and events and things that I was you know, prepping for in the fall, which obviously aren't happening. The solitude of the painting practice is something I really relish, but at the same time as, uh, as a very social, chatty person, um, it does get a little lonely. The community piece is important. I feel like work is really finished when it can be shared with others, and the process continues with their feedback. It's really completed with the viewer and their reaction. I think art is a phenomenal communicator. It's a bridge builder. It's a really wonderful vehicle for communication, both verbal and nonverbal. So many conversations, difficult conversations, can be entered into in the visual realm, whether it be through painting or sculpture, film, and really bridge some gaps and open doors to communication in ways that may otherwise be almost impossible. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you should have some fun and, and try it. Paint doesn't bite, and part of being human is to be creative. Not everyone is gonna be Rembrandt, but every kid who plays soccer isn't gonna be in the World Cup. Doesn't mean they can't have a really good time playing soccer. So I feel the same way about painting and drawing. My website is cclinton.com. You can find me on Instagram and inconsistently on Twitter at Clinton Paints. I have a lot of work. I, I am open to doing socially distant studio visits. It's a big enough space that, you know, with one or two people, it would be easy to have people in. And I work by commission as well. So I have a limited number of spots on my commission calendar for the upcoming year.